Hello everyone and thank you for watching! We upload videos containing interesting facts about events. And if you like that, head on over to our channel, subscribe, and click on the notification bell for notifications. Today we'll look at 12 interesting facts about Titanic's ultimate fate. Let's begin! Number 1. Many of the floating dead bodies were not recovered. The RMS Carpathia came to the rescue and got people on lifeboats on board. They had just gotten from New York and were more than happy to get survivors safely back on land. The Titanic's destination was New York City, but more than two-thirds of her passengers perished in freezing waters in the middle of the North Atlantic. Many ships came to the crash site only to find nothing as the floating dead bodies were already tossed miles away by the rough sea. Oceans have gigantic waves, especially this crash site which was very far from land, and so the waves scattered objects that fell off the ship within minutes. Search efforts to recover bodies were not as fruitful as they thought it would be. Number 2. Survivors lived to pursue their ambitions despite the traumatizing event. Richard Norris Williams was a professional tennis player who was on board the Titanic with his father. He also inspired a scene in the 1997 film Titanic, where he helped someone who was stuck in his cabin, and a steward told him that the management will have to charge him for the door he broke. As the ship was sinking, he and his father jumped into the water. Unfortunately, he lost his father to the crash of one of the ship's four funnels. He was able to take off his coat and shoes in order to propel himself to safety. He grabbed onto a lifeboat, what with his legs submerging in the chilling water for hours. He later survived frostbites but his doctor suggested amputation. Norris, not wanting to cut his tennis career short, decided against it and did physical therapy instead. He ran every two hours, even waking up at night to go for a job. His legs were able to recover and he was able to win the Olympics. Another survivor was Eva Hart. She was only seven when she went on the ship with her mother and father. She remembered her mother feeling uneasy with the vibes of the Titanic, which was new and innovative at the time, with people partying every night and then the biggest ship was sailing faster than its usual speed. The family was supposed to take a small ship, but since that was cancelled, they had to take Titanic. Eva's mother Esther was alert every night and she heard a loud thump in which she told her husband to go and check it. They found out about the iceberg before everyone else could, so Esther and Eva were able to be rescued. The father was left behind to die in the sinking ship. This inspired the scene in the 1997 film where a little girl was told by her father to hold mommy's hand and be a good girl. Eva grew up and became a singer in Australia, all the while being active in Titanic activism, putting forward the need for sufficient number of lifeboats in every ship. White Star Liner Chairman Joseph Bruce Ismay also survived the sinking. He suffered survivor's guilt and was criticized heavily for getting rescued on a lifeboat when there were women and children who were left on the ship to die. He lived a more secluded life after that, changing careers to working for Britain's Merchant Navy. Number 3. Titanic Received Reports of Icebergs Before the Titanic sailed across the Atlantic, they made two stops at Cherbourg, France and Queenstown, Ireland. Titanic was fully aware of the iceberg reports from other ships that have sailed across the ocean. The ship was particularly more at risk of iceberg accidents due to the crew's apparent lack of binocular use and her speed. This was a real premonition for them at least three days before the fateful night. Number 4. Light refraction may have caused nearby ships to miss distress signals and flares. Light refraction happens when water slightly changes the course of a ray of light. This is why a pencil distorts in a glass full of water in comparison to its part that is not underwater. 
Light refraction may also happen in the atmosphere, which is why the sun looks bigger and less round during sunsets. One of the ships that was near the Titanic's wreck site in the early morning hours of April 15 was SS Californian. The ship's captain was fired after missing the distress signals, but it was possible that they simply didn't get to detect them due to light refraction. Some have noted that the Titanic suffered the iceberg incident due to light refraction, which made the iceberg go unnoticed. Number 5. The Titanic was speeding. Ships have speed limits too. The speed limit would depend on the design of the ship as their tonnage and for which type of transport they are being used. Titanic was violating her speed limit, which may have contributed to the severe damage that could have been easier to manage. This violation of speed limit, intended for the ship pointed to White Star Line's goal to not fall behind schedule, and to make the impression that the world's largest ship could cross the Atlantic the fastest. This kind of recklessness was also the reason why Titanic service ended so fast too. Number 6. It was a code of conduct for crew to have women and children abandon the ship first. This is called the Birkenhead Drill, and it had been practiced since 1852. This in itself is tragic for families and lovers aboard, as they would be separated with the possibility of never seeing each other again. A passenger can only hope they would see their husband, or dad, or lover in New York City after everyone was rescued. This code of conduct was also a subject of controversy involving sexism in the 20th and 21st century. Today, it does not have a basis in international maritime law, but it remains a code of conduct for ships everywhere. Number 7. Titanic didn't have enough lifeboats. In order for everyone aboard to be rescued, the Titanic would have needed 60 lifeboats. They decided not to go with many lifeboats since they didn't want the deck to look cluttered. The Titanic only had 20 for her maiden voyage, which was obviously critically low. If that wasn't bad enough, the first few lifeboats weren't even filled. The maximum capacity was 65. With the ship being so unprepared with lifeboats, they were truly concocting the world's most tragic maritime disaster at the time. Number 8. The crew didn't have binoculars. At the time when sonar systems weren't available in ships yet, a pair of binoculars would have been very useful. However, none of the crew had one in hand. This was because of the fact that all binoculars were locked in a special locker and the keys were forgotten to be handed over by the second officer, who was replaced by management. Second officer David Blair was so in a hurry to get off the ship that he forgot about the keys and realized it only three days after the Titanic had left Southampton. This simple error became a major factor in the tragic sinking. Number 9. The Titanic's hull was damaged by fire. Three weeks before the voyage, the Titanic was found to have suffered fire while works were being done on the hull. This led to the weakening of the metal, making the giant ship more vulnerable to iceberg damage. White Star Line was found to be aware of this, but decided to conceal the damage in order for the voyage to still take place. The management faced the dilemma since tickets were sold out, and they already bought a lot of coal that they needed, and they didn't want to make a bad impression to the passengers of the world's largest ship at the time. The Titanic wasn't lucky with the iceberg. The fire-damaged hull was exactly the part that struck the iceberg. Number 10. The first lifeboat left with only 28 passengers. The lifeboat's capacity was 65 persons. However, it was not the case for the first lifeboat to be launched. For this reason, the crew in charge of lifeboat 1 was severely criticized as well as the captain of the ship, Captain Edward Smith. More passengers could have been rescued. Instead, they were left with a harsh reality to die in cold seawater. If only the management had more competent crew and captain. 
Number eleven, RMS Carpathia came to the rescue. RMS Carpathia had just left New York City, but returned in order to bring survivors to land. The RMS Olympic, which, just like the Titanic, was built by the Harland and Wolff Shipyard and operated by White Star Line, got their distress signals, but they were 500 miles away, and the Carpathia. Was already on their way to rescue the survivors. Number twelve, shipwreck survivors cannot swim close to an iceberg. Icebergs aren't islands where one can swim to safety; they are gigantic floating boulders of ice that broke off of the Arctic during the spring months. Drawing close to an iceberg, especially in the middle of the night, will only increase a person's risk of hypothermia and frostbite. In addition, ice is slippery and would offer little to no help in providing a space of safety. It is best to get on a boat and call the attention of ships to be rescued. These are some of the not so well known facts about the sinking of the RMS Titanic back in April 1912. There sure is a lot that we didn't learn from the movies. Be sure to subscribe for more related content. And like, comment, and share this video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.